this pandemic has many people stressed out, anxious, and lonely. A new report shows nearly half of U.S. workers have been suffering from mental health issues since the COVID-19 pandemic struck. Sharon Epperson has more on the impact and what employers are doing to try to help their employees stay healthy and productive. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Joe. You know, there has been a significant jump in full-time workers in the U.S. who are dealing with mental health issues during this pandemic. According to a new survey by the Standard Insurance Company, 46 percent of workers reported struggling with mental health issues in 2020, compared to 39 percent in 2019. And 55 percent of workers said a mental health issue has affected them more since the pandemic began. When it comes to specific issues that people are grappling with, another survey of nearly 13,000 employees in the U.S. and 27 other countries found the majority of workers have experienced increased anxiety around job security and found changes in their work routine and their organization stressful. Almost half have felt lonely and isolated when working from home, and the result is often a decrease in productivity. It all comes at a steep price for employees and employers. Even before the pandemic, research showed the global cost of mental health conditions, including costs related to lost productivity, was about $2.5 trillion in 2010 and estimated to grow to $6 trillion by 2030. So companies are stepping up efforts to address mental health issues. They're offering things from one-on-one -on -one counseling, providing access to visual therapy, meditation apps for free, a number of things that companies are doing to try to help, Joe. Yeah, those are the specific things. Anything that caught your attention in terms of just innovation? I mean, we, we do everything else in a different way now, I would think. They're doing many things in a different way. I mean, some of the standard things are even a little bit different. Energy giant BP is including questions about employees' mental well-being in the regular employee surveys just to get a better understanding of how teams are feeling in real time. Starbucks is one of those companies offering the free virtual therapy, trying to address stress, anxiety, depression. Bank of America is doing that, too, but they're also offering daily meditation sessions that are actually guided by practiced employees, and they're also having access to free mindfulness apps. There was another thing that workers who are looking for help beyond their employers, uh, what their employers offer, can look into. And those are things like LinkedIn Learning, which has courses that can support your mental health while working from home. They can talk about dealing with grief and loss, as well as having a more inclusive mindset. So it's really important for employees to find out what their company provides, but also look elsewhere, because there may be some other opportunities. Think about someone, uh, Sharon, that, that might be single in a small apartment somewhere with, I, I just can't imagine, it, it, it's just, I don't think we take a walk. And, you know, and you're the, hitting on something truth. that was fascinating, Joe. I, I talked to a psychiatrist yesterday during the CNBC Health Return Spotlight, and he has this truly innovative approach of reaching people through Twitch, Amazon's live video streaming service. He is actually on Twitch doing sessions with people. He has a startup called Healthy Gamer that he's that he co-founded with his wife. His fans call him Dr. K. The, he has thousands of people coming in there talking to him. Sometimes they're teenagers who are video gamers. Sometimes they're the parents of teens and young people who want to know what their kids are going through. Um, but he's working with Twitch, and it, it's, it's a way to kind of meet people where they are and where they want to get help. And I think a lot of companies are coming to the realization that the standard things that they may have offered may need to change, especially because, as you said, so many people are working differently, may be alone, may be completely isolated and feeling like they need help but don't know where to turn. And they're also trying to alleviate that stigma of asking for help and seeking help through your employer, no pushback, no no one is going to fault you for needing to talk to someone or needing some um, therapy or some counseling during this time because so many people are going through such a challenging time. Right. With the kids at home, which is, could with, be its own... With uh, the kids, <laughs> the teens, the young adults, the, anybody who might want to come and just be family and stay there, yes. Yeah. All of that is happening. All of that is happening. Yep, everybody's... Uh, you know, some good numbers coming out, uh, Sharon, with the with the case rates and, and or better numbers and maybe some light. Better numbers, yeah. At the at the end of the tunnel, because yes, all exactly. these uh, all these Give other things, in addition to the, you know, the health concerns, the mental health concerns. Thanks, uh, Sharon. Uh, that was a detailed. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.